a couple of days ago, I <coughs> on me, I put my boat on on its mooring and uh, on the stern there's a bracket like this, which is a, a British seagull bracket, you probably recognise, and I have a silver sentry on there. And uh, the propeller is below the level of the keel, obviously, uh, when it's going along, but... Um, you know, when it's moored up, the, the outboard is cocked up and there's a, a bracket like this, which is sprung loaded in them holes there, that tilts up and uh, so that the outboard is clear of the water. Well, it's only just clear. And when the tide, because it's a tidal uh, mooring, when it goes out, there's a, a bank not too far away. And if it swings that way, mud piles up on the end of the propeller. Only occasionally, but it just wants to be. It just wants to come up further. So I thought, well, how can I do this? Well, I thought I could re-drill these holes, just a, another half inch. I only wants to come a little bit because the length of the of the outboard would bring it further. But as you can see, there's reinforcements here around the casting, and I didn't like the idea of drilling more holes there. And I thought, well, can I make this up? Another one of those out of stainless steel. I looked for stainless steel and I thought, well, I've got to get the right amount of spring and I've got to get this shape and so forth. So I found a piece of stainless steel bar. And as you can see, I've just welded this onto the, the end there so that can be sprung back in. And all I need to do then is, of course, cut across there to give me that extra 3 eighths, half an inch at maximum. To raise the outboard. It's a very simple little dodge, but uh, I had all sorts of other uh, possible ways of doing this. This is an old one, as you can see, it's all corroded, but it gives me something to play with. And I've still got the original one of these if this doesn't work, but it's only a question of springing it in. Um, so, a very simple. Uh, way over a problem. Sometimes it's the most silly things that uh, actually work. Any more on this in a minute. Okay, well I've cut the bar off to the length I calculate and I've rounded the ends. Um, very simple. All I've got to do is get it back in here now. <laughs> you can take these apart, nut and bolt, but <clears throat> You can also do it that way. There we go. Okay, you're probably thinking, well, this is stupid, so what? But um, often it's people don't see the the wood for the trees. This is, uh, I can't think of a better way of doing it. So if you've got an outboard, a seagull outboard with a bracket and it's permanently on the boat, or you just want it to be, ra you know, raised, I can see no uh, easier or simplier way of doing it than what I've done here. Anyway, I'm pleased.